given question a sphere weighing 100 newton is tied to a smooth wall by a string find the tension t in the string and the reaction r from the wall let us understand how to draw the free body diagram for a system when system is in equilibrium this sphere is having weight w is equal to 100 newton so this weight will always act in vertically downward direction passing through the center. So we will show here. So to draw the free body diagram we will first draw the sphere and this is the center of sphere. And passing through the center here is weight W. This sphere is connected to the string and which is having angle of 15 degree with the vertical wall. Now I will make here one construction. I will draw one parallel line to this vertical wall but passing through the center. And which is in the form of dash and dot. Now if we observe this diagram, these two lines are parallel to each other and here is the common inclined line. So this angle is also equal to 15 degree. Now in this free body diagram here is the y axis that is the vertical line which is passing through the center. So we will draw here one line which is making angle of 15 degree with this y axis. So here is the angle 15 degree. Now because of the weight w of this sphere, this sphere tries to pull this string in the downward direction. So because of this sphere or weight W of this sphere, the direction of this string is in the downward direction but along this inclination. So what is happening here? The string tries to resist this pulling and the tension is created in the upward direction along the inclined line. So along this line we have to show the tension T which is in the upward direction. If we observe here is the point of contact of this wall with the sphere. So the action force is applied by the sphere on the wall. And therefore the normal reaction R is also developed by the wall on the sphere. So how to show that? So we have to show the normal reaction R which is perpendicular to the surface and at the point of contact. So this point of contact if we extend then it will be passing through the center of the sphere. So we have to show the normal reaction R which is that is one horizontal line because this wall is vertical and direction is towards the right hand side. So I will show here. This is the normal reaction R. Now if we observe there are three forces. If we extend this R then it is also passing through the center O. That means these three forces are concurrent forces. Now how to find out the value of tension T as well as value of R. So if we can apply here the Lamy's theorem. So according to Lamy's theorem, when the system is in equilibrium with only three forces, then the one force is proportional to the sine of angle in between other two forces. Now we will rearrange this force. Now how to rearrange? So we have to take the center as a O. So I will first select the center of the sphere as a O. Now from O we have to draw the three forces. So from center here is the weight W which will act in the downward direction. So I will show here weight W. Then here is the normal reaction R. So if I pass through the center then again its a direction is towards the right hand side. So I will show here the normal reaction R. And here is the tension T which will, in the, which will pass through the center. So here is the tension T. And it is having angle of 15 degree with y axis. Now we will find out.
about the angle in between the three forces. So if we observe here, this R is along the x axis, W is along the y axis. So the angle in between these two is 90 degree. Then angle in between this T and R. So here is 90 plus 15. So I will take here as a 90 degree plus 15 degree. And angle between T and W is, if we observe here this vertical line that means this total angle is 180 degree and therefore remaining angle is 180 minus 15. So I will show here 180 minus 15 degree. Now we will apply the Lamy's theorem. Now if I take the force T, so T is proportional to, so T divided by angle between other two forces, that is angle between R and W, that is sine of 90. Which is equal to. Now I will take second R. R divided by. Now angle between other two. That is T and W. So sin of 180 minus 15. So I will show here sin of 180 minus 15. Which is equal to. Now I will take the third force that is W. So W is given 100 Newton. So 100 divided by sin of angle between other two forces. That is R and T. So 90 plus 15. That is 105. Sine of 105. So we can solve this. 100 divided by sine of 105. And then we can find out value of T and R. When we calculate tension T is equal to 103.5 Newton. And reaction R that is 26.8 Newton. 